Working for you in high definition. This is Channel 4 News Today. Good morning. We're at 621 right now. More now on our breaking news. It's coming out of Colorado. We're talking about this mass shooting overnight at a movie theater. This is in Aurora. It's just outside of Denver. And Jimmy Carter's here. Going to kind of walk us through exactly what happened. But the latest numbers, we're told anywhere from 14 to 15 people are now confirmed dead. This appears to be the SWAT situation at the apartment. The gunman's in custody, but he said he had explosives in the apartment. And apparently that is true. So that's North Aurora, where the gunman may have been living recently. The gunman has been arrested that walked into a theater during the midnight screening of the Batman movie and started shooting. They got two handguns and one rifle. He was caught in the parking lot in the rear, nearly immediately, did not resist. He's a 24-year-old man. Dead, a number of children. 14, possibly 15, but some are very injured, and this death toll could go higher. Uh, 50 people wounded is the figure that they continue to stick with. A three-month-old is the youngest victim the here. There was a nine-year-old. The president waking up to this story this morning said that he was shocked and saddened by this situation. That could very well be one of the largest mass shootings we've had in the country, and certainly in Hollywood history, nothing like this. There have been a few shootings over the years in theaters, uh, even outside theaters recently in Oakland, but nothing to the scale. They do say the gunman planned it. It was not something he just woke up and decided to do today. And that's part of the story, too. We know a lot of people came to this movie, and they were in costume. Mm -hmm. Apparently, a lot of the witnesses are saying that he was actually in a right helmet, wearing a bulletproof vest, all black, he had goggles on, and when he started shooting, well, a lot of people were trying to figure out what was going on, and they thought it was all part of an act, or the gunfire they were hearing was synchronized with gunfire actually in the film. Again, this is the apartment complex where the man lived. They're going through it for explosives. They have evacuated the area around North Aurora. This is the cell phone footage. As you can imagine, every kid has a camera with a cell phone now, right, with, with camera. That's one of the people leaving the theater. It's just people dressed up like Batman, people dressed up like Bane and Bruce Wayne. And you're going to see a lot of shaky cam video of people just taking shots after the theater. Ten people are dead inside. People are being rushed to the hospital. They're evacuating the theater. Uh, chaos again. Fourteen dead, fifty wounded in a mass shooting during the midnight screening of Batman Rises this morning in the suburb of Denver, Aurora, Colorado. Now, there's also this interesting Tennessee possible connection yeah. because we know there are some news reports that are saying the gunman's car had a Tennessee license plate. So we are continuing to follow the story, trying to find out if that is indeed true. Authorities are now also debriefing all the witnesses, and they have been yeah. transported away to Gateway High School there. Uh, parents asking for counsel. And again, that is the apartment complex where he lived. He's not there. He's in custody. They're going through that for explosives. Jimmy Carter, thank you. We appreciate the very latest information. We'll continue to bring you that this morning. We're at 624. We have weather on continuing to follow the very latest information on this mass shooting at a Colorado movie theater. And again, the latest numbers as far as confirmed dead. Now the numbers are between 14 and 15, depending on what report we're listening to. 50 people injured. But the gunman, they say, they are believing this is a solo act, and the gunman is in custody right now. And they're saying this lone gunman, it was not a spur-of-the-moment shooting, that it was very well planned, that he had been planning this for some time. They're not saying a whole lot about him other than the fact he's 24, had two handguns and a rifle. He's in custody, 14 dead, 10 in the theater, 50 wounded, 50. One of the largest mass shootings in this country's history. We'll continue to bring you the very latest this morning. Jimmy, thank you. 617 right now. Don't go away. We have continuing coverage also on our store. Thank you. 606 is our time right now. Now to the latest on breaking news out of Colorado with this mass shooting overnight at a movie theater. It's just outside of Denver. Now the very latest com confirmation here as far as those who are dead. We're getting a number of 14, right? They're, and they're sticking with 14 right now. Okay. 1 a.m. this morning, there was a screening of the Batman movie in Colorado. Someone may have kicked in the emergency exit door, started shooting. People thought it was part of the movie or a gag of some sort. Because it was people not. were dressed in costumes, yeah. and this guy, he actually had on what exactly? He had a uh, bulletproof vest and a, a riot, helmet riot helmet. And a goggles. He was armed with at least two handguns and one rifle. They got him in the back lot, not where you see the opposite end of the theater. Okay. And he did not resist. Uh, he was a 24-year-old male. That's about all we know. Possibly Tennessee tags, so we're following up on that. 14 dead, 50 wounded. So again, he had two handguns and a rifle, so that would explain the large number. 
Uh, he, again, was arrested very quickly. There were police there in the theater. So we now have some YouTube video taken by people. Now, you're going to start seeing different things. What people care, you know, the chaos, people dressed up, you know, in Batman costumes and all of that. And the police were there checking things out. Now, this is the one they were coming out of the theater. They're putting them all on a bus and taking them to a high school to They're talk to them. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of this chaotic fan video taking place. As far as I know, we don't have anything of the actual gunman in the theater, but they're going through all the hand video and Twitter exploded. But 14 people dead, 50 wounded, area hospitals were on their mass casualty plan. The premiere for the Batman movie in Paris has now been canceled because of all this. I don't think anything is like this has happened in the history of Hollywood. There have been shootings at movie theaters before. One or two people. There was a drive-by the other night in Oakland, but nothing, nothing like, this. like this. 50 shot. Two different handguns and a rifle by a gunman. There were explosives found in his North Aurora, Colorado apartment. And again, there are, you've got a lot of speculation going on about everything. If you're wondering, this is a, a suburb that would be like Brentwood is to Nashville, very yeah, close on right. the eastern side of town, only 20 miles away from Lakewood, where the Col Columbine shooting was. Interesting, too, that we're trying to follow up on because there are reports, as you mentioned, that yeah. the gunman's car had a Tennessee license plate, so we're trying to confirm that. Also, we have a live picture right now. This is coming out of Aurora, Colorado. Another Apparently, victim, you know, either transferred or, you know, they're just shooting people off with 50 people. People. There are a lot of people out there. You know, they were saying he was armed, apparently had three guns, but also yeah. they are now treating some people for chemical exposure because there was some sort of explosion there. There was. They initially said it was a smoke bomb, but he does have explosives in his home. He said he did, and they have confirmed that they're there. Now, you've got the suspect being moved around. You've got people being, these are kids. Some people are probably being transferred to they children's most hospitals. Were children. Most were children, and the definition of that would be teenagers. Right. Uh, it's a PG-13 film. I think there were some kids there younger. As young 13. as six, I know. I it's think so. One uh, and, uh, and probably older. So there have been some horrific descriptions of what is going on here. And as you can tell, it's a breaking story. This only happened three or four hours ago. Yeah, we're going to continue to bring you the very latest information. Jimmy, thank you for thank gathering you. more information upstairs, and we'll see you coming up a little bit later. Harvard 610, right now, we also.